hello to all my friends out there. So the $5 for three day meal challenge continues. What is good about this is this time I did four. So for $20, you could add these to your shopping list. Or if you go to the food pantries or food banks or you get food stamps, you can add these uh, meal plans to your shopping list and it's really gonna stretch your food. $5 for three days. Number one, top ramen, any flavor, eggs, bread, yogurts, four for one dollar, Dollar Tree, Vienna sausage, and pork and beans. Now that is quite a bit of food for $5. So with the top ramen and the eggs, you can make the top ramen egg drop soup. So you just boil your top ramen with the noodles in. And then when it's boiling, you beat eggs, one egg with a tablespoon of water. And then you stir that around in your uh, top ramen and you season with salt, pepper, and sugar. Kind of like um, uh, uh, fried rice. And then eggs and bread. That's good. And then you have four yogurts from a Dollar Tree. So you get a little, um, a little dairy in there. And then you have Vienna sausages. And you can cook those in top ramen, but you only have one can. And then pork and beans, the big ones from Walmart for 50 cents. So you can have um, pork and beans on your bread, like I did the other day, pork and beans sandwich. It's not bad, sounds awful. And a top ramen, you have five top ramen. So you have five soups. This is a pretty good little meal plan here. Okay, number two meal plan, one can sweet potatoes. It just occurred to me that the sweet potatoes can be really useful. Um, those are a dollar. You can't find them cheaper than a dollar, but you can make uh, sweet potato pancakes. You can make sweet potato, like potato cakes with sweet potatoes and fry them. And you can mash them like mashed sweet potatoes. Okay, eggs, green beans. If you have green beans and bacon fat, salt and pepper, one package cornbread. This is one of my better meal plans because it contains those 50 cent cans. I'm gonna be doing more stuff with those. Uh, pork and beans, chicken noodle soup for 50 cents, Vienna sausages, and potted meat. You can make all kinds of stuff with this. And um, I'm trying to do meal plans that would be uh, good for the stockpile. You know, if, if you don't eat all this, then you've got it left over for next week. So let's see, you could stockpile the sweet potatoes, stockpile the green beans, stockpile the cornbread. When you're trying to go three days, you want to make muffins. So you have six muffins, uh, cornbread and pork and beans, cornbread and potted meat, chicken noodle soup. Uh, Vienna sausages and potted meat. That's two. Okay, now three. Okay, three days for $5. Top ramen, cheese, eggs, bread, and bologna. Okay, you can make bologna sandwiches and you can make the top ramen soup with you make the egg drop soup and then you drop cheese with a pat of butter, salt, and pepper. You could cut your bologna up and put it in the top ramen. That's gonna make you a nice big meal. It's tasty too. You can use pepperoni, you can use any meat. Um, bread and eggs, uh, cheese sandwiches, uh, bread, mayonnaise, mustard, and cheese. Um, Grilled cheese. This is one of my better ones here. I say that about all of them. Okay, and number four, a 50 cent soup. They, uh, they usually have chicken noodle and tomato, but uh, this week all I could find was chicken noodle. I bought the big package of crackers for a dollar, and those are good because you can stockpile those. If you don't eat your, uh, if you get the crackers, the big box, and you don't eat them this week, next month, they're going to be fine. 
peanut butter, Dollar Tree, one dollar. Pork and beans, fifty cents. One package cheese for a dollar. Uh, those little uh, packages of cheese are pretty good at Dollar Tree. I think I got more though at the Food for Less cheese for a dollar. And Vienna sausages. Uh, this goes back to the car meal I was eating, and it was uh, cheese and it was Vienna sauce, no, it was cheese, and it was crackers, and it was soup. I, I have on here two, two soups, a package of crackers, peanut butter, pork and beans. Pork and beans and crackers is gonna get you through. 50 cents at 99 cent only. Cheese and crackers and soup. Vienna sausages and pork and beans. This is actually a pretty good little uh, meal plan. So what you can do is you can go through your shopping list and you can include some of these 50 cent foods. I'm gonna be doing more videos on these. It's so much more cost effective if you go with the 50 cent cans as opposed to a dollar, as opposed to $2. Like those uh, Campbell soup soups are $1.48 now, <coughs> and that's at Walmart. So you want to invest in finding that soup for 50 cents and stockpile it. What's really, really going to help you is the stockpile. Because then you're going to be able to go into your stockpile and pull out soup, crackers, pork and beans, and Vienna sausages. And so for $5, $5 for three days, all you would have to, and peanut butter. So all you would have to do to get by here is buy a dollar's, if you had this stuff in the stockpile, is buy a dollar's worth of cheese. And then you would have $4 left for gambling. And then you would go to the casino and you would try to gamble that $4 because you would have your $5. And then hopefully you would make three more dollars or you would collect cans. It's not that hard. Go to the trolley center. <laughs> okay, you guys, God bless you all.